Hey guys, this is my second combination lock kit. Uh, this one has a lot more features to it. I'm using a really neat chip. You can, should check out my eBay store, which you can find through www.electroniclessons.com. Uh, you get all the hardware, including a, uh, a solderable keypad. That's the only soldering you need to do. Uh, instructions on how to set it up and how to do how to program uh, the numbers in but I can do a, an example right now of, uh, of how to do the numbers so let's do that shall we okay let's just quickly go over these LEDs there's six LEDs here um, they're just going to show you the signals uh, that we'll be talking about um, first we have on the left that's, that's uh, by default it's, uh, active high uh, as soon as you plug in is the uh, lock display the LED to the right is essentially the inversion of uh, the lock display. So it's it's essentially these two will never be at the same logic. These two right here. The next one, the third from the left, is the disarm uh, the disarm uh, LED. The one to the right of that is the alarm LED. Uh, the one to the right of that, which is the second from the right, is the arm LED. And the final one, that little one, it's actually, I put a little one in there just to show you that's the tamper. So if I put in that one, it will never, you, you probably wouldn't be using that one, but if you, so you type in the wrong key, it emits light for a certain amount of time based on certain external components. Anyway, oops. So uh, let's go through it. Um, there's three codes that you program into this thing. And of the three codes, the first three digits, each four, di each, each is a four-digit code, and the first three digits are all the same. The ARM code, which is one two five four, will uh, will uh, enable the temporarily enable the ARM LED, the ARM signal, which will will act to latch an external circuit. Um, the disarm, which is one two five one. Uh, disables the the main lock uh... as you can see the second led which is the inversion of the locking uh... signal is enabled and t a temporary a signal that you can uh... mess with like you can the duration of the the pulse signal that uh, could be varied based on the uh... external external uh... components as well but that's as you saw I'll type in that code again with two five one that third led is uh... the disarm led so as it is, it's a latching signal, so you know, put those into a flip flop, toggle that. Um, and so uh, finally, we've got the duress uh, code, which in this case is uh, 1252. Two. Uh, that uh, disables the lock, as you can see, uh, sends a pulse through the, uh, deact uh, the, yeah, the deactivate, or sorry, disarm rather. Uh, um, pin and uh, and it actually sends uh, this pulse to the alarm. This is the alarm signal. So you can latch an alarm to a, send a signal to a transistor and turn on an alarm or whatever you want to do. So there's lots of interesting things about that. So now what we can do is if we want to uh, and, and this comes this kit like all the instructions come along. Uh, say we want to change our code. Uh, no matter what the codes you have to change it. To say uh, say. So you want to change it to four five six seven for the arm code, four five six eight for the disarm code, four five six nine for the duress code. Uh, because the four, because the we have to have the first uh, three uh, digits the same. Uh, so you can you can do four five six two or four five six. You know as long as the first three digits are okay. So the first what we have to do is is enter the disarm code quickly uh, before. Uh, um, there's actually a, a timer capacitor that uh, you put in. Based on that size, you have a certain amount of time to enter your key, uh, your code into the keypad before the, the system resets. So I've got a, I've got about two seconds, two full seconds to do that. Uh, then I have to so press the disarm code in, then press the star button twice, and then we program in our new code. New code. So say we want, as an example. Four five six seven eight nine. Four five six seven our arm code. Four five six eight is our disarm code. Four five six nine is our duress code. So let's do that. First of all, we have to remember that our co our disarm code is one two five one. As you can see, some of the LEDs, uh, the LEDs do the thing. So now let's do, let's do our 
let's do a worker magic too here. One, two, five, one, star, star, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. So now if we want to now our old code won't work and four, five, six, seven. That's a new code. As arm, four, five, six, eight. And four, five, six, nine. So it's pretty easy to use. Uh, when you unplug it, and this is why it's like a normal security system, it's always plugged in. Oh, you know, yeah, this can be configured with a battery backup, but it can also be plugged uh, into a uh, wall transformer. Uh, the kit is sold with a battery, but every time you disarm it, the main code goes back to one two five one, one two five two, one two five four. Yeah, so uh, then we have to reprogram it. So if you keep the power on all the time, I just realized that my cat's in the background. You'll have to, uh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not going to go back. I'm just going to uh, say thanks for watching. Go to e www.electroniclessons.com. I realize this has been a long video and I'm pretty monotone. I just built the circuit, just figured it all out. So, uh, yeah, uh, some soldering required. The only soldering you have to do are seven spots right here. So again, thank you very much for watching.